Hi, welcome to showmethecurry.com. I'm Anuja. And I'm Hithil. And today we have a special guest, Mangla Deshmukh. And she is our resident consultant for allergens and uh, allergy-free recipes. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are suffering from gluten allergies and egg allergies and many different allergies. But today she's going to show us a basic flour mix, which is going to be gluten-free. So it, it's, again, a basic mix that can be used for many, many different recipes. Sure. Just the mixture right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. This mix can be used for uh, muffins for pie crusts mm. uh, and of course for puris, parathas and rotis mm. and you can even make Anuja and Hetal's fantastic kaki rolls <laughs> with uh, <laughs> this mix. Perfect. So and I'm sure you can think of 10 other ways to use uh, it. Yeah. So mm. please tell me. Uh, <laughs> yes. you, yeah. It's an open discussion yes, you know yes. so anytime you have something just pitch in. So uh, let's start off with a few things. We've got some new things over here so we're going to start off with uh, Auntie, this is sorghum or jowar flour. Yes, the Indian jowari, which mm -hmm. is sorghum and which is very high in uh, iron and protein, um, calcium. Uh, it has the lowest glycemic index possibly of all the food grains because it is assimilated so slowly in the body. Oh, okay. So it's uh, these flours actually are richer than wheat wow. in nutrition. So it's good for you even if you have it any is, kind of blood, yes. uh, high blood pressure. It's and good stuff for like diabetics. Oh, oh, really it's good, good for diabetics because of yes. the low glycemic index. Oh, fantastic. But um, good. Yeah. So we're going to be using this. Then this is a, this is amaranth flour. And also known as the uh, also known as Raj Gira in Hindi. Yes, and the amaranth too is very rich in uh, protein, calcium, iron, and uh, the amino acids in amaranth uh, are a little unusual for vegetarian food because uh, these amino acids are usually contained in meats. Okay. So okay. this is a plus point for amaranth. And if you uh, look at the root word of amaranth, A M A R, amar, in Latin. Amaranth means uh, something which uh, in increases longevity oh. <laughs> and so in Sanskrit also the word Amar means immortal. Yes, so it stands for good health. Okay. So of course uh, as a lot of us know anytime we're dealing with gluten free flours the hardest part dealing with them is the, the binding effect. Mm. They have no elasticity, no binding effect. So we're using cornstarch today to help us overcome that. Yes, right? and if anyone has an issue with cornstarch, uh, use tapioca starch. Mm. Okay. okay, that's Come also on. available. Very good mm -hmm. idea. Okay. And finally, we have xanthan gum. Xanthan. Okay, <laughs> I wasn't sure how to say it. <laughs> xanthan yeah. gum is it is as it as its name says a gum. Uh, it is used for adding a kind of stickiness and oh. elasticity to the flour because okay. otherwise, what you will get can be a bit crumbly yeah. and so it It'll avoids tear, the I'm crumble guessing, factor yes. yes but using too much xanthan gum will make it sticky <laughs> and uh, although there are recipes which tell you that you can use one teaspoon for one cup mm -hmm. I found that a bit too much because then it starts sticking, sticking. on your hands oh, okay. you will probably get less jagged edges with uh, more xanthan gum but I prefer the texture with the quantity that we are using today okay, okay. The amaranth flour and the jar, of course, is available at Indian grocery stores. And the uh, xanthan gum, we were able to find at a health store. So, you know, just go go down to your natural food store or your mm -hmm. health store, and you know, we're pretty sure they'll have this. Or you can use uh, guar gum. You mentioned. You can use guar gum yes. too. But uh, you prefer this product over that, right? Yes. Okay. I mean, uh, there are some nutritionists who say that guar gum has a bit of a laxative effect. Mm. Although I don't know if that tiny quantity is going to do anything. <laughs> uh, guar gum is made incidentally from the guar bean, which we okay. use in India. Gawari. Right. Gawari. Yeah. Oh, mm. awesome. So we're going to now just uh, put, make a whole bunch of, uh, a whole lot of uh, flour. And we're going to use it over, you know, in different recipes and different forms. So let's just uh, get started with that. Mm -hmm. And this is the basic proportion for this flour. So Auntie, how much of the... One cup. Flour? One cup. One cup amaranth. Sorry. I've tried to minimize the use of cornstarch and have more of the flour. Yeah, more nutritional stuff. More, yes. Yeah, yes so just for that. But we still need it for binding. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Three quarter cup of cornstarch. 
Now for this quantity we just add one teaspoonful of xanthan gum. So just one teaspoon so how do we store the rest of it? You can put it in a bottle and put it in the fridge because it will last for a very long time. Okay all right. so it doesn't have any uh, yeah it's valid for like over a year so I think mm -hmm. we're in good shape. And if you put it in the fridge then you know you can oh, use it a little water. longer than that. Okay. Yes. And half a teaspoon of salt. Yes. So do you put, you use the top teaspoon for like uh, everything or is it depending on the recipe you're using it for? Um, because if you're using it for something that does not need salt, I'm just curious. Yeah, but you know, if you use it for a pie crust too, you need a little this salt. quantity is okay. Okay, it's so not a lot. So it's not yeah, a lot. So I think total is about three and yes, uh, three yes. quarters of a cup. So I guess right. one half a teaspoon is not too much. And right. the only thing, if you want to use a pinch more of xanthan gum, you could. Okay. But not too much more. Okay. okay. So now we have this basic flour which you can store in an airtight container. Mm -hmm. And if you put it in the fridge, it lasts a long time. But then uh, we are constantly making, you know, yes, so you don't right. really have to. So of course you can double, triple, yes, you know, make yes. a whole big batch and keep it. Keep it yeah. So I think that's a very good idea. So just take it out, take a scoop and use it. Yeah. I love the fact that it's so versatile. You can use it for many different recipes. Yes. So you're not just making chapatis mm -hmm. all the time with it. You can make anything. You can make desserts. You can make uh, your chapatis perfect. So once again, this is our basic gluten-free flour. And we're going to have many, many recipes using the same mix of flour. So stay tuned for that and join us again on another episode of showmethecurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life. Oh, very <laughs> nice. <laughs>